it is incredibly easy to install Maven on Windows. And there's really not many prerequisites. In fact, there's really just two. The first prerequisite is that you've got Java installed. So if you want to install Maven, the first thing you need to do is just go in, open up a command window or PowerShell, and just type in Java dash dash version and hopefully something will come back indicating a, a, an installation of Java somewhere on your operating system. I've got OpenJDK 21 installed, so life is pretty good. Now, the second prerequisite to install Maven is that Maven isn't installed. So why don't you check to see if Maven is installed, type in MVN dash dash version, and if it errors out and says it can't find MVM, that's good because that means that you don't have Maven installed and you need to get it installed. So how do you do that? Well, just head over to the Apache Maven Projects landing page, click on downloads, and then you'll find the opportunity to download a zip file. 3.9.9 is it? Is that the, the latest one? Boy, they're getting awfully close to four. Download that zip file. Once it downloads, move that file, copy that file, and put it into the, the folder where you want it actually installed. I have a, a folder called underscore tools on my operating system where I put all my tools. You can see the JDK 21 installed there. I'm gonna copy that in there and then I'm just gonna right click on it and say extract all. Just extract all of that Maven goodness right to my local operating system. I'm not gonna create a, a top level folder. I'm just gonna take whatever the contents are inside of that zip file and just shove it right onto that tools folder. Now, that looks like it's done. I'm gonna open that up. There's the bin directory. It's that bin directory that we wanna put on the path. Look, there's Maven, the MVN command that we couldn't find a moment ago. That's what we wanna make available to our applications and our tools. Now, I do need to copy that path. Click Control C to copy the full path to the bin directory. And then I'm gonna go in and edit the environment variables. And specifically, I'm gonna to go to that system variable and I'm gonna look at the path. I'm gonna click edit. I'm gonna click on that tempting new button and I'm gonna paste in a, a pointer to that bin directory, paste in the path to the bin directory of Maven. So now, Maven is installed and it's available. It's on the path so that any command window or terminal window will be able to access it. Now, there's two environment variables that people often configure. Maybe older programs need this. One of them is Maven Home, and that just points to the installation directory. So trim off the bin and click OK. And then sometimes M2 underscore home. And fewer and fewer programs actually look for this anymore so you know i always configure this whenever i configure maven but quite honestly it's probably not necessary but configure both of those m2 home and maven home click ok then finally click ok again to get out of that configuration window why don't we go in and just check to see if all of this is working type in mvn dash dash version Boom, all of a sudden it says, indeed, we've got Apache 3.99 installed. So that means the path is working. And hey, why don't we make sure that Maven Home is working as well? So just echo percentage Maven underscore home percentage and boom, there we go. Underscore tools slash Maven. That's the directory where Maven was installed to. We have successfully installed Maven, added it to the path and also configured any environment variables, the Maven Home and M2 Home, just in case some programs might be looking for them.